castle was purchased from a seller. It was not made from a kit and might have been built in the early 90s. This is what the entry hall looked like when we first got the castle. The builder had used real tile in it. The room had two kinds of vinyl tile. The rest of the flooring in the structure was either pergo wood or clay tiles. Here is after one of the pieces of vinyl tile was removed. When removing them, we discovered that the structure was made from particle board. Removal of the floors damaged the surface of the particle board. The castle had a bit of a smell to it. We put activated charcoal on paper plates in each room. The whole structure was then covered with a plastic sheet for about a week. This room had exposed beams that weren't very decorative. In these photos you can see the height of the pergo flooring on the right of the hall and the clay tiles in the left side. This room and the one above it were covered with a stucco type material that we began scraping off. We wanted the staircase to face the viewer. The older set faced away and were curving left. That would not work with the way the opening above was situated. The new right curved staircase will be stained and installed. We made the opening for the staircase a little wider and installed a wooden ceiling onto the wooden beams. Here the new ceiling is being supported while the glue dried with wooden supports and clamps. Putting on the new ceiling created an open gap in the staircase opening. We closed those off with wood that would eventually be stained. The front door's opening used to be peaked and we squared that off and fitted a new door. Removal of the stucco in this room went well for the most part. However, one part of the left wall got really damaged. We had to add a membrane of wood to smooth it out. The room received a coat of primer. The new staircase was stained and then it was dry fit into place. A regal styled stair runner was glued on with various degrees of success. This wasn't an easy process. Toothpicks were painted gold and gold beads were glued to the ends to make stair rods. Previously this window had a sharp wire mesh covering it and green rounded plastic at the top. We decided to square off the window. Wooden frames were cut to fit and stained. The rounded part was filled in with foam board. The next few photos show the wallpaper being installed. Flooring was installed next. The whole bottom floor is connected, so we wanted the same flooring in the three spaces. The interior window trims were cut, stained, and installed with a decorative stained glass insert. We added stained exterior and gingerbread trims. Luckily, the top trim covered the foam board insert that we used to square off the window earlier. Here, the stained crown molding is supported while the glue dried. Ceiling paper and channel trim around the staircase opening were also installed. To break up all of the dark stain in the opening, resin architectural pieces were painted, gilded, and glued in. A light was installed on the fourth wall of the opening to help illuminate the staircase better. The completed room, except for the final furnishings, carpeting, artwork, and accessories. When the whole castle is completed, all accessories will be added. This is the view through the arch on the right side. Here is the view from the right hand side. This knight figure came with the castle and he received a makeover. Here is a collage of some before and after photos.